So welcome also from my end, um, the, the New Zealand end of the world, to uh, our first um, fall MAC meeting or spring MAC meeting. And thanks, thank you very much to um, Beth, her team, and also Keith for organizing it and making it possible for everyone to join in. Um, I'd just like to take a few minutes time because we have a full agenda today to just point out some highlights of Mahara 1.10 which we released just a couple of weeks ago. And um, there are all together quite a lot of new features that we have developed, um, 36, and some of them are very small but others are quite large and involved. Uh, we also fixed 240 bugs and now we also have a song which most of you probably have already heard. Um, and what I'd just like to do is go through six of those features that um, I think stand out uh, quite, quite heavily because they um, have a lot of new things that community members wanted to have for a long time or things that came up very recently. And what you see here directly is um, the messages to multiple people. That was development work out of Germany um, from the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology. And that now allows you to send notifications, messages to more than one person and also to reply to more than one person. Um, Tobias also implemented that you can now see all the messages that you sent through the system, which was not really easy to see in the past because you never really knew what you had sent to others and thus they replied back and then you replied again. And so now <coughs> this has been made really easy to do and um, enhances the experience of actually also knowing what you've received, what you have sent, and also being able to send um, yeah, notifications and kind of almost emails to more than one person and therefore reach uh, multiple people at once. Another very new feature is uh, that you can drag and drop pages into collections. Um, this was relatively small work um, but does enhance the usability. You can still also click the checkboxes in order to put pages into your collection, but you can also use the all familiar drag and drop that we have during the page editing process. Therefore, making it easier to position these pages within your collection to reorder them, and also um, with the little um, links at the top, let me just point it out here. Um, the all and none links, you can also directly put all your pages into a collection and therefore um, be done more quickly. Yes, Keith, and reordering of those pages within the collection via drag and drop as well. That is correct. A third nice feature is um, that we have a simple text box again. Um, several versions ago, we converted uh, regular text boxes to notes so that you could reuse them in your portfolios. Um, now you can also attach files to it. Um, you can attach a license. You can have tags and you can have feedback on them. And that was a feature request that at a time was wanted by a number of users in the community because it was not possible then to repurpose a text box they had written and a number of people had um, used these text blocks um, to also write quite a bit of text that they wanted to repurpose in other pages. However, over time it has been shown that this implementation was not really ideal because people still wanted to have simple text boxes um, that are not kept in their notes section. And therefore, um, this was implemented and uh, what you have now in Mahara 1.10 is that you can have a very simple text that just looks like this here on the screen. You just have a title and, a, um, and your editor window, but you don't have any other features. 
you can save that and therefore use that in order to just have short descriptions for other blocks or um, just point something out that you want to display on this particular page, but you cannot reuse that um, on another page unless, of course, you copy and paste the content in. We've also kept the more elaborate notes because they do have their purpose, especially, for example, when you set up a bunch of template pages and want to repurpose instructions or any other things multiple times. And maybe also when, when you want to link um, or create the same text and then have that available in multiple pages. So both are currently there. Um, outside, in the, the content chooser, the standard simple text block is the more prominent one, um, but under but you'll also find the notes one very easily. And because we have received feedback that a lot of people kind of just got confused by the many notes they have um, in their portfolio because everything was kept, there is also a converter in the administrative interface where you can convert all your current notes into simple text blocks. That means any note that is not being used in another page that does not have license information attached to it or feedback or any other things will be converted into a simple text block. And therefore, um, the note section will also be, be shorter in the future. What we've also heard a lot of times uh, from the community is that it is not possible to adjust the dashboard page, the profile page, and also to a certain degree the group home page. Um, meaning that um, an administrator or a site administrator or no, um, a server administrator always needed to make that change or a site administrator needed to log in uh, with a specific login in order to make changes to the dashboard template and also to the profile page. This can now be done on the site administrator interface. Um, and there you can create your own dashboard and your own profile so that you can take out any of the blocks that are currently there that you don't want to have there and uh, put others on there that you prefer to have there. One caveat though is that it does not work for existing pages because um, users could already have made changes to their dashboard profile uh, page and also to group home pages. So it only works for new users and also for new groups that are being set up. However, that is still a very good functionality, especially when you start out using Mahara, that you set up your system um, directly how you want it to be. And um, and one of the very big features that we have in Mahara 1.10 is archiving of portfolio submissions. That is development work uh, funded by the University of Canberra, and it allows you to um, archive portfolios that have been submitted to a group on the server and also retrieve those files um, easily. The archiving needs to be turned on in the group settings and it is only available like the submissions in general for staff and administrators. Um, but it allows you to make the submissions available afterwards so that if you use Mahara for assessment purposes, you can keep a copy of what the students submitted at a time. We do not distinguish whether it's a draft or a final submissions or things like that, but anything that has been submitted in a group that has um, archiving turned on will be um, saved on the server and can then be archived off-site, say at the end of a term or at the end of an academic year. You can also export all the data that you see in the table um, in CSV format meaning that you also get the path to the files where the individual portfolios are located. This new functionality also brings with itself an export queue um, because when 10, 20 or 30 portfolios or more are archived at the same time, this might um, eat quite a bit of server resources 
And so all the archiving will be placed in a queue and then the release of the portfolios is only made once uh, the server has finished uh, the queue and has gone through it. If there are any problems with the exports, there will be a notification and, and you can restart the export again. And the export queue also works for leap to a portfolios that users um, export themselves if that functionality is turned on in the site administrator settings. And these two features are currently still experimental um, because they require quite a bit of testing, especially load testing and seeing how everything works out in reality and when they are um, submissions made and releases made. So we are especially interested in hearing from you uh, hearing from you and getting your feedback on that functionality in case there are things that still need to be tweaked for this experimental feature. Um, Lori, uh, it create yes, it does create a copy of the student page in the sense of the portfolio that the student submitted um, for assessment purposes or for feedback into a group that will be placed on the server and um, therefore you, the, you could also give it back to the students at a later stage for importing if they wanted to get back to an earlier stage. This is um, part of a feature for Canberra that we are working on. The second part could not yet be finished, which would be to integrate it with the Mahara Assignment Submission plugin so that also portfolios submitted to Moodle can be um, archived and uh, archived during the release process. Um, and now, uh, last but not least, um, one feature that a lot of people were waiting for is um, to have more modern social media accounts available in the profile instead of MSN account, um, AIM account, IRC and ICQ and so on. So this feature was developed by Gregor and now you can add any social network to your Mahara account and um, have links available in a blog where you can, where people can then just simply go to your profile. So what's coming up next for the next half year? Well, we've already started working on very new features for the next release. And one big change that you will be hearing from us is um, that we went over to a different really, uh, versioning system for Mahara to indicate the releases. Um, currently, we are on one where it um, that doesn't really follow any particular rule very strictly. And so we are moving to a date-based release uh, numbering system, which means in our case that uh, the next release will be 1504, meaning that it was released in the year 2015 and in the month of April. Um, with that, we hope that it'll be easier for users to and, and also institutions and site administrators to know when their uh, Mahara version was released, how long it'll be um, supported, because um, calculating one and a half years is quite easy in this case, because it means um, the 15.04 version is supported until 16.10, so um, until October 2016. And since our ver current versioning system doesn't really show you any way whether there's, that's a big release or a small release, um, we thought it might be better to have a date-based system. So that's what we are moving to. And um, so we are, we are not making a huge jump in terms of functionality if you think kind of going from version 1 to version 15, but it is a different versioning system. Um, yes, Roger, we will have minor points as well for security, and those will be 15 or 4.1. Uh, and so that system is still being retained so that you can see easily um, what are security patches. And that's pretty much all from me. If you have any other questions, uh, please let me know on Twitter or via email or in the Mahara forums. And I look forward to hearing from you what you think about the features that were implemented for 1.10 and what um, your plans also are for using those or how you're using them, implementing them, working with them with your students. Thank you.